Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice, Print, Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to add your FDM 3D printer into Cura. Alright, let's get to it. Real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to Lance Goad. They are my newest supporter on Patreon, and I'm just blown away by the amount of support and encouragement that I've gotten from this community. Thank you so much, Lance. I really appreciate you supporting the channel. If this is your first time booting up Cura, most likely you'll see this window. If you already have a printer added and you want to add an additional printer, all you have to do is make sure that you're set on prepare, so don't go to preview or monitor, make sure you're on prepare, then go over here to this tab. This will be all of your active printers. If you want to add a printer, all you have to do is go down to add printer. It'll bring you right back to this window. From here, we're going to go down to add non-network printer. And that just means you're telling Cura you want to add a printer that's not currently connected to your computer over USB or connected over Wi-Fi or something like that. So go ahead and click on add non-network printer. And then from here, this dropdown is always going to be open because it's uh, all of Ultimaker's current printers. So we're going to scroll down and this is where it's really important that you know what your printer manufacturer is. For example, you might have an Ender 3, but you'll see that Ender is not currently an option here. So you need to know that the Ender 3 is made by Creality. So we'd open up the Creality tab and you'd see all these different options here. And we're going to scroll down and look for the Creality Ender 3. From here, you just hit add and you're ready to go. And one quick note, if you want to add multiple versions of the same printer, you can absolutely do that. So for example, if you have one Ender 3 that's stock and one Ender 3 that you have a BL Touch on, then you can do that and you can change the name to make it easier to keep track of them. And then just come down and hit add. Now this next window that pops up is going to have a bunch of information that is very specific to your printer. If you don't know what any of this is or what it means, then I would recommend you don't touch any of this and you just click next. And that's it. We've now added the printer to Cura. You can now see your virtual build plate. And if I go up here to my drop-down list, you can see I have both an Ender 3 and an Ender 3 dash BL Touch. So now I can keep them separate for any kind of changes I want to make between the two printers. Now, real quick, there are two other things I want to go over. First up, if you start learning a little bit more about your printer and you want to make some adjustments to your starting G-code, you can do that by going down to Manage Printers, then find the printer that you want to change from your list, then click on Machine Settings. That will bring up this window again that has all of your starting G-code, your ending G-code, and all of those settings that are specific to your model. So the other thing I wanted to mention, if you go to add your printer and you can't find it on this list, so it's just the manufacturer is too new or it's just something that Cura doesn't have here, then you can click on Custom, go to Custom FFF Printer and hit Add. Now from here, it'll bring up that window that has all those specifics for your printer. If you don't know what to put in here, then I highly recommend you reach out to the printer manufacturer and ask them for their recommendations. They may even have a general guide on how to add your printer to Cura. If not, you can always ask the community in the comments down below, or you can join the Slice Print Roleplay Facebook group, and one of us should be able to help you out. All right, now you should be able to add your printer to Cura. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments down below, or join my Facebook group, or find me on one of the other socials. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel and I really appreciate it. And if you like the work that I'm doing here and you want to support my channel, you can find all my Patreon information down below. Alright, now let's go print something. <laughs>